Hello everybody, my name is Dust. I'm a professor for international sustainability and interdisciplinary studies. In this video, I want to shortly speak with you about research. But I want to tell you, according to my you know, many years, several years experience in companies, universities, schools, many people, many students, many workers, they don't know how to do research and they don't have a real idea about research. And when you ask them something, just Google and find something. And they don't know the information they found, is it really valid or not? And sometimes something is behind this information. That's why I'm going to shortly explain you how to do research. Uh, for research, you need to know we have two different data. And that's why I'm making a model. And in this model, I explain you the situation. We have two different data we can use in your research. One of them called primary data. And another one means secondary data. Primary data is about the data you can find by yourself. And secondary data means the research of the other people. Then I start with primary data. When you want to do primary data, you need to visit the company, visit the case study you want to do research. If you visit them, then you have two different factors. Qualitative, qualitative resources and quantitative resources. And you know what means qualitative and quantitative. Quality is about feeling, is it good, bad, very good, how you get satisfaction about something. And quantity means number, how often, how frequency, how much, how many numbers. If you do, uh, you know, visit of comp company, you, that means observation. You see something and that observation can help you to feel the company, not just theory, practically. That's why you go to company and you do interview with people in the company. If you do interview, then this is qualitative data. You ask the CEO of a company, how is your business? Is it fine? You know, it's not number, huh? it is about feeling. Do you think your company can satisfy your customers? Do you think you are responsible for social environmental factors and etc. Interview. And interview in the company, according to the size of company, you can do 3%, 5%, and 7%. And if it is possible, more, more. If you do survey a list of questions for the company, this is quantitative. That means you ask how many percent your company growing in 2023? How many people work for you? How often you do this? How frequently you do that? All numbers. This could survey should be minimum 30 inside company and 30 outside company, but in the same business. For example, if the company is chemical, engineering products, then you need to also ask people outside the company, but same business, same area, clear? This is primary data. And then you analyze them with uh, different software like SPSS to find your variables are valid, validity of your model, reliability of your model, and etc. Then this is primary. But if you do secondary is going to check who did research before in this case, and then check the result of their research. That could be books, articles they already published, and also most of the company, they have website, and they have, you know, in their website, they have company reports.
You can also check the company reports. You can also check the books they published, articles they published. Then in your research, you can use them as reference or you can use them to say they are right. According to your primary, you found they did right. Or according to your primary, you can say they did wrong and you find the right way of research. Clear? This is, you know, short overview of doing research. I tell you that because also in your master defense, you must do that. And this is really important because I have experience. Many times I ask my students, what was your research method? They have, you know, they don't have any idea what is research method. They don't have any idea. Hmm? That's the point. Thank you. In the next videos, I'm going to have more information and more topics in this regard.